friends just about 10 years ago if we were to hold a conference of this type it would have been difficult to get five people in the room today we have problem of people not been able to find seats that's the progress which has happened in the last 10 years my colleagues in the ministry secretary krishnan joint secretary sushil pal ji additional secretary abhishek all the officials participants from the industry pankaj ji atul ji ashok ji and all the other friends sitting in the uh, audience participants from various state governments participants from various other ministries i thank you all for being part of this journey this journey has been very exciting i'll make four or five points very short points first point is we have a very clearly thought out strategy for developing the electronics industry in our country hamari electronics manufacturing ki strategy mein ek clear thought process hai is thought process ko samajhna zaruri hai जिससे कि हम सब समझ सकें आने वाले समय में किस तरह की और हमारे इनिशिएटिव्स आएंगे आ थॉट प्रोसेस इज वी बिगैन विद द फिनिश्ड प्रोडक्ट इट वाज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टू गेट द फिनिश्ड प्रोडक्ट्स इन बिकॉज विदाउट दैट द वॉल्यूम कैन नेवर बी अपटेंड द फिनिश्ड प्रोडक्ट ऑलवेज ब्रिंग्स द वॉल्यूम एंड द बेसिक कॉन्फिडेंस ऑफ एन इंडस्ट्री to get into the downward integration mode so that's why we started with the finished products once we have a good volume of the finished products then we can very quickly get into the module level manufacturing in a country once we have module level manufacturing then we can look at individual component level manufacturing once we have component level manufacturing then we can look at material manufacturing manufacturing the materials which go into manufacturing the components which go into manufacturing the modules which go into manufacturing the finished goods that's the way any industry evolves i'll give you a couple of examples from outside electronics so that many of our friends uh, who sometimes without understanding the thought process try to criticize they may also be able to understand i'll give the example from railways in railways we created a program by which world class locomotives with the latest generation latest technology they started getting manufactured first assembled in the country as finished goods then the supply chain behind that started getting established and today those finished goods have practically 80 85% of the value chain behind them in the country and they are now looking at exporting the finished product out of india that's the way it always happens so those uh, from some of the media houses who sometimes without understanding this entire thought process tend to criticize may please take note of this entire thought process that was my first point my second point is the volume which has happened which has got created in the last 10 years that's phenomenal success story our electronics manufacturing has grown five times in the last 10 years our exports have grown six times in the last 10 years these are cagrs of 17 percent 18 percent 20 percent plus phenomenal growth and this is just the beginning this is just the beginning the initial effort which is required to get that momentum that is what has happened so far this is the time when this industry will take off like this the initial momentum is there जो मेहनत शुरू में एक नई इंडस्ट्री को इस्टेब्लिश करने में लगती है वो मेहनत लग चुकी है अब इसकी ग्रोथ और भी रैपिड होगी मोबाइल फोन्स 
we have seen the success. Servers, we have seen the success. Recently, I visited a manufacturing facility. The international buyer from that facility said that not a single server was having any defect, any problem. And this was the 6,000th server, large machines. So Pankaji was saying, IT hardware is progressing very well. Laptop manufacturing, I visited in Chennai some time back. Excellent facility, very good progress. Whether it is laptops, whether it is servers, whether it is mobile phones, everywhere there is very good progress. And now the major initiative our Prime Minister has taken is about electronic components. The nature of this scheme has to be understood. It is a horizontal scheme. It is a horizontal scheme. This will feed into all verticals, medical electronics, industrial electronics, power electronics, automobile electronics, hardcore electronics, electronics, right? It will feed into everything. That's why it's very important for our country. And this is where our complete ecosystem is now getting into place. Finished goods, active components through the semiconductor mission, passive components through the electronics component manufacturing scheme. Now I request my third point. I want to make a request to the industry. Some of you have done very well in setting up your design teams but not all. I'll request each and every one of the participants in this scheme must set up a design team. We'll, we have not included that as a formal criteria of approval, but I'm saying in front of you, that will be like informal criteria of approval. If you don't have design team, and even if you are fulfilling all your parameters, we will not approve you. <laughs> Design teams have to be set up. There are some wonderful, very good entrepreneurs who have set up design teams of 5,000 people, 5,000 design engineers in one company. Why can't everybody emulate that kind of example? Please set up design teams because I am telling you again, this is just the beginning of the electronics industry's growth. What you are going to see in the next five years will be phenomenal change. If you are not prepared for it, you will be left out. So set up design teams, get the latest design tools, make sure that you continuously strive to do backward integration. One example I'll give you without naming the company. For the components, they are also now manufacturing the dyes. Dyes which were earlier imported, now they have started manufacturing. The plant got inaugurated very recently. They are now manufacturing the dyes and the tools which go into manufacturing those dyes. That's the level which we will see in our country in the coming years. So be prepared for that journey is my request to all the industry. That was my third point. My last and final point is, please achieve Six Sigma quality in everything that you do. Nothing less than Six Sigma will be tolerated. We will be evaluating your progress not just on the manufacturing volume, but also on the quality that you produce. And I'm requesting Secretary Saab, it's not there in the formal scheme, but in the informal evaluation, those who do not perform on quality will be cut short in between. Please take that as a very clear method of evaluation for you. So design team and 
minimum six sigma quality we must achieve as a team and without that the world will not respect us until we achieve that level of quality the world will not respect us i'll give another example from a different sector large molds for manufacturing 1000 ton girders extremely high quality extremely high finish our own manufacturers today started producing those a couple of them have started exporting smaller versions of those that's possible in our country that's the power of our entrepreneurs that's the level which our people can achieve question is how much effort we are willing to put in and to help you put in that effort we will evaluate on design teams and quality parameters also apart from your turnover and employment we will also evaluate you on quality and design teams so friends be a part of this journey i am also very glad today the first step in our own foundational model has started sarvam congratulations to you and this is just the first one this is just the first one there are many more energetic entrepreneurs and startups and academicians who are very very committed towards developing more models what's important is this model will have 70 billion parameters and many innovations in programming as well as engineering with those innovations a 70 billion parameter can compete with some of the best in the world that's the thought process going behind this model and that's why this model was selected as the first one of the block i am also happy to share with you about 350 datasets have been uploaded in ai kosh 6 march it was launched and today we have 350 datasets which are already uploaded in ai kosh and also the tools the technologies we had requested the iits and other institutes for developing under the ai safety institute initiative four of them are almost complete the tools have got developed and very soon we'll be launching those tools also look at our approach how different this approach is and how innovative this approach is our prime minister always tells us that have a bias towards innovation make sure that our people get the opportunities to create tools and technologies which can then be taken to the world so unlike some geographies without naming them where the approach is to if you have a problem make a law instead of that we are saying yes if there is an issue we will develop a techno legal solution so technology plus law plus legal that's a much better way of looking at these problems friends i wish you all very good success in this uh, new policy ecms this will given what i have uh, got the briefing from the ministry officials looks like there is a very strong pipeline of projects already up and running ready to be approved within very short time frame so wish you all the best keep generating employment thank you